Hi guys, welcome to the part 5. In the last video, you had already sent the first lines ashore and were holding the vessel in position along the berth, holding one fore and aft spring lines and one head line and stern line. So, the captain has ordered you to send all the other lines. Let's see what that looks like. For all lines, to send them ashore, only one, sometimes two, heaving lines are usually used, in most cases at the aft station. One end of the heaving line should be ashore with the linesman at all times and the other end secured to the ship. So you should check that it doesn't stuck somewhere on the pier by the negligence of the linesman. Head lines are usually sent starting from the outer one, because it is the longest one and allows better to hold the ship while mooring and also it's more convenient to send the other lines with help of heaving line. As an officer, you should communicate with the linesman and show them which bollard the line should be placed on. Avoid placing all lines on one bollard. Usually two lines are placed on one bollard. Some lines are head lines. Some may look like breast lines. If the linesman place all lines on one bollard or if there is only one bollard, inform the captain. Spring lines also are usually sent starting from the outer one. There are usually only two springs, and they should be put on the same bollard to have the same tension. But if the springs are long enough it's okay to put them on different bollards too. If you see that the lines are very short or very long, and linesmen don't want to transfer them to another appropriate bollard, inform the captain immediately. Also, check if the lines of your ship are crossing over or under the lines of other ship. They shouldn't touch each other, especially to create some tension. If the lines are put on the same bollard as the lines of another vessel, also report this to the bridge. It is also important to check this during departure, as the lines may get stuck between the lines of other vessels. The progress of securing lines should be reported at all times. For example, bridge forward, 1 plus 1, bridge forward, 2 plus 1 etc., unless the captain says to report only when all lines are fastened. So, when all lines will be fastened and you report, bridge forward for plus two, the captain can say, thank you, forward, secure everything and put the rat guards on the lines. To secure the lines means that you should put the mooring winches on the brake and disengage the drum or set the winches to automatic tensioning mode. It depends on whether your mooring winches are hydraulic or electric, or sometimes it may just be company policy. You should check that the lines are properly stowed on the tension drum in one row only in at least three or four turns. If you have additional lines that are not stowed on the mooring winches, you should avoid securing them to the gypsy head of the mooring winch, but rather put them on the bollard. So, finally the rat guards should be put on each line, and you have to report to the bridge that everything has been done. The captain then asks to cast off the tugs, sometimes the tugs could be asked to cast off earlier, when the pilot and the captain are sure that their assistance is no longer needed. When tugs are cast off, you have to report to the bridge. The captain says, Thank you forward, well done, finish with the station, send the crew to prepare the gangway. Alright guys, we're done with this part as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.